So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and have you seen from the title, this is really exciting because we have got on our first video teaser for Nuketown coming in Black Ops 4. We have an official release date and our first teaser for what is the fourth version of Nuketown. And this is the teaser video, they tweeted out in Russian with the words, welcome back, coming to PS4 on November 13th. So next Tuesday, we are getting Nuketown in side of Black Ops 4, which is crazy. That's come so quick. And this teaser, whilst short, has a few interesting things that we can debate. But I'd love to know down below in the comments section how excited you guys are for Nuketown to return. This isn't just your normal Nuketown. This is a completely different Russian version, complete with a brand new weather dynamic being snow. So the teaser trailer has this, which is a monitor of sorts, displaying a slideshow of different parts of the map with some numbers on the side, 938007, and we have what looks to be some sort of voltage meter, as well as lights flashing with different colors. We've got a green one that's staying on, and then a red one which is blinking every so often, potentially a Morse code. We're jumping into what we can see. We can see the Nuketown sign, which we got a glimpse of last month, and then we get to see a few other scenes as well. Some sort of propaganda poster, as well as a pan where we can see the side shot of what appears to be a Nuketown mannequin as well as some sort of blueprints. Now to me these look like blueprints which have been drawn in chalk which are going to be either on the wall or could be a reflection as to what the mannequin can see but as to what this is I honestly don't know. Now this is of course a multiplayer map for Nuketown but there's been a lot of rumors of a zombies map coming before DLC 1. Now I don't know how much weight those rumors have if that's true or not I genuinely have no idea, but a lot of people have also suggested that it would be awesome if we saw Nuketown Zombies come into Black Ops 4 via a remake, and these blueprints have a real heavy zombies vibe to me than it does a multiplayer one. I don't think we should get our hopes up just yet on if this is zombies related, because looking a little bit more into it, to me it kind of looks like blueprints of the actual missile that hit Nuketown and actually, you know, nuked it. I'm sort of looking towards the left, it cuts off, you can't really see too much of it then there's a shelf and then we see what looks like the sort of container of this rocket and the sort of top end of it being sort of twisted off and then we get to see what it looks like in its full shape as it is landing straight down into the map but as we know at the end of nuketown zombies that ends by the rockets from moon hitting and destroying it and turning it into what we see it as and if you recall back to the call of duty zombies comics one of the loading screen issues at the end was a revised new version of the nuketown zombies loading screen now bear it wasn't entirely new but it did zoom out a lot of the original imagery showing us a lot more and whilst this chalk drawing doesn't have a huge resemblance it could actually resemble a little bit to the Nuketown drill and could explain a bit more on the backstory on why that was happening. There are radios in Gorad Krovi which speak about them literally drilling for the power of element 115 that was contained near the Nuketown zombie site and this could also be an amazing opportunity if Triarch do make this into a zombies map as well if we revisited it and see maybe in a different timeline where we can actually save Malton from the bunker like there is scope there for our Victor's characters to get a little bit more love for us to actually play as them, experience them besides them just being frozen in a cryopod. Like Treyarch are rewriting every single timeline possible, but imagine if they continued their story on by having them revisit a new version of Nuketown Zombies. Like we know that something happens to the crew where they're still alive because there's a telephone conversation Stillinger has where he's stuck and doesn't know where he is and Rick Tovin's not guiding him. This is literally all just fan theorizing on what I think could be an insane bonus map if all these rumors about a DLC before DLC 1 are true. Nuketown in Blackout looks very reminiscent of what Nuketown Zombies once was, so if they wanted to go ahead and bring Nuketown Zombies back, they've already got pretty much all of the map 
already made in Nuketown for Blackout. And that bunker as well, there could be so much that could be used for as well. We don't even know if this multiplayer version is going to have a bunker like we do have in Blackout, but it would be insane to have that. The last thing we see on the screen looks to be some sort of sentry turret, and this reminded me a lot of the real-life Nuketown that was created at COD XP, which people watching streams of real people playing in Nuketown could control the turret to shoot people, and perhaps this could be a secret score streak that can be unlocked and used within the game perhaps this is in one of the buses in the middle of the map where you can use it to just mow down people that would be really cool looking back at the start where we see that propaganda poster you can almost see a little bit of a film reel as well so we might have those sorts of themes playing into the map and i mean even this teaser itself is a kind of cinematic look at the map through some through some very cryptic imagery it'd be interesting to see if this actual teaser monitor we're seeing and the control are also somewhere around the map and if we can use those in some way shape or form to help us during the game or if there's some sort of big easter egg connected what if just like in nuketown in black ops 2 and black ops 3 there was an easter egg where you can unlock a physical computer that you can control in black ops 2 you could play a load of really cool activision games and in black ops 3 i don't think we had anything like that but we did have the nuketown mannequins easter egg which actually turned into zombies so we can expect a new mannequin easter egg at some point in this map and also black ops 3 had a wall running nuketown section which was also used as a screen and that was used for some teaser marketing for infinite warfare which is pretty cool so Regardless, there's going to be some cool Easter eggs to find in this, regardless of it just being a multiplayer map. And for those that are confused, this is going to be for free. You don't have to buy this. You don't need the Black Ops Pass. This is coming for free on November 13th on PS4 with release on Xbox One and PC to follow one week later. If you guys are excited for Nuketown, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section in case there's anything that I missed. If you're excited, let me know by dropping a thumbs up as that would be awesome. And to stay up to date with the latest Black Ops 4 news and information, you can go right right ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new and click those notification bell as well because come Tuesday your first look at Nuketown will be right here on the channel. If you want to strike up a conversation on Twitter or Instagram I am practically there all the time checking my mentions on there so feel free to drop me a tweet if you guys want to talk about anything to do with Black Ops 4 but thank you for watching and I'll catch you in another video very very soon.